So let me see where these both are on the map. There's the Priory. There's the Lodge. This is one thing I kind of forgot about Falskar. It's very, very flat. It's very flat, and then the island is just surrounded by this sort of, like, mountain. So I, I forgot, but I remember that it's not the most um, realistic-looking map in that sense. Also, the ice up here. This was originally going to be part of the mod. There was originally going to be something up here. Unfortunately, the mod author was never able to get around to it. The current version of the mod is the final version of the mod. It won't be updated past what it's at currently. Alright, let's go to Aspenfall Lodge. And let's find the hammer. And then we can travel west from there over to the Priory. There's a lot of side quests in this mod. I believe it's... 17 side quests and 9 main quests. So kind of like Midwood Isle, which we played recently, this is going to be uh, very side quest focused, but I like that. I'm always very, very happy to see side quests in, in quest mods. I like it because it fleshes out characters and areas and it builds different storylines. The funny thing is, I remember when I played Midwood Isle a couple months back, that it reminded me of Falskar. I remember just from what I vaguely remember about Falskar that the stories felt kind of similar in some ways. Although this is more bandit focused, whereas Midway Isle was more based on the dragon cult and had to do with you being uh, dragonborn and able to save them. We're not the dragon cult, but the, the Daedric cult, the necromancers that you fought against. But in terms of uh, landscape and design, I felt that the mods were a bit similar. But that's high praise because I loved Midwood Isle. And that's one of the reasons I wanted to come back and play this, to re-experience it, to see how it holds up. In the end, I think that's going to be one of the goals for the Skyrim Saturday reunion reunion tour to see how older mods have held up against more um, recent releases, I guess you could say. Oh. Hello. How unfortunate for you. Oh, is that so? You shouldn't have Ooh, look at that. I was hoping I could disarm him right before he <laughs> hit me. Was not the case. Like, he got, he got that hit in. Like he's glitched. His sword was still at his side, even though he was very clearly able to hurt me with his sword. Or, he was able to attack me, at least. Is that just a troll over there? I think so. Yeah, it is. Well, I saw it on my compass. I figured, all right, let me give it a shot. Let me see what's over there. Cooking pot, take the pheasant. You got me that time. I could not understand what the Khajiit was saying at all. It sounded very garbled. Hello? Anybody home? You think he's gonna last very long? Wish we had Horkus down south. Tried one in Skyrim once. Rongo's Good stuff. I'd be surprised if he hasn't already found him and crushed him with the hammer itself. Hello? Where'd he go anyway? Why don't they care that I'm the here? Shattered Axe Redoubt. Janil gathered a bunch of us to go there. I figured I'd be safer if I stayed, though. Ha! Smart move. He won't last a second there. Anyway, boss says we're hitting a camp later, so I better get ready. Yeah, good idea. Who is that? I'll try my bow this oh, time. wait. Really? Now I'm detected? I guess it was set so that I couldn't... be detected? While they're talking. 
But it said I was undetected when I actually decided to sneak. I've done it. I've gotten the hammer. Those fools announcing to the world that they thought we were... They were burying it, uh, that they were burying it with Gustav made it real easy. I went to his grave during the night and I dug it up. But I have to hide it. I must keep it safe. The lodge won't do anymore. Too close to civilized. There's an old mine not far from here called Shattered Axe Redoubt. It's abandoned now, so we'll keep it there. Or we'll head there. We can hide out and keep the hammer safe. I'm heading there tomorrow morning. They won't be able to get me. They won't even know where I am unless I put it in writing, writing and they find it. Yanil, if you find this, gather a bunch of the lads and meet me there. Also, make sure you destroy this letter before you leave. We can't leave a paper trail. Found you. How the tables have turned. That's right, everyone, drop your swords! No, don't pick it back up. Too soon. I like how they're just kind of stared at me. It's like, is he gonna kill us now that we have no weapons? Oh, he is gonna kill us even though we have no weapons. Damn it. Okay, I was hoping I could free someone, but no. You're dead. Oh, and you had a lockpick. Well, that's unfortunate. Ooh! Oh, only seven gold? Well, the potion was worth it at least. So let's see where this is. Shattered Axe Redoubt. Alright, so southwest. Shattered Axe Redoubt. Discovered. Anybody home? Any hammers here? I'm just here to kill you. I'm just here to murder you. I'm just here to take back what is not yours to keep. My lantern could turn on. That would be fantastic right about now. Here. Oh, I shouldn't have? Oh, you were right behind me. How are all those threats working out for you? How are all of those threats working for you, ma'am? I didn't even see you there. That's my bed. Hello there. You didn't hear all that commotion? I was ready to use disarm on him, but no. He was a mage. Unfortunately, disarm does not send mages' hands flying off. But wouldn't that be great? If their hands are their weapons, then... That would be nice. I didn't hold it down, so I only got the one word of power in there. You won't last long against me. Yeah, is that so? Too soon. You won't last long. Too soon. Oh, I forgot. They have their own mead. Can I see the label? Oh god, it's upside down. Well, I can just... I can take the mead and then... I can look in my inventory. Yeah, there you go. Amber mead. It's fitting, because that is a nice color for uh, an ale or a mead or anything like that. I'm trying to think, are there amber meads? Like, in color? I don't know. I would imagine so, yeah. It would make sense. Mead is fermented honey. Honey's kinda amber in color, so yeah, it's actually perfect. <laughs> I hear something. Oh, there's someone yelling, and everyone's dropping their weapons and dying. I think I hear something. Damn. Damn. I love hearing bandit lines, and I love mods that add new bandit lines, because it's always so funny to me to hear these bandits trying to be intimidating, and then, nah. It's not working. Like, you can try, but it's not happening. 
Oh, I see the hammer. Oh, I'm taking some damage. Ooh, back up a little bit. I might not be able to use disarm on... On Garand, actually. Let's find out. Oh, I missed. Now we'll never know. Your failure is my success, so it's okay. Van Vier's Masterpiece. It's a very clean texture. Like, the texture doesn't entirely fit, it's a little clean. Just compared to, like, other textures in the game. Alright. Now we can take that back to him, but first, let's head to the Priory, since it's right here. It's, like, right next door, pretty much. Is this gonna be another way out? No, nothing back there. Well, I see a few different kind of like hallways and uh, pathways, so I'm wondering if there is an easier way out of here. Or something that might like loop back to the original uh, chamber. Oh no! <laughs> they put rocks in this cage! The rocks were rebelling. Oh, here we go, yeah. I didn't even notice that. Wait, is this... No, this is a separate exit then. No, this is a different one. Alright. And now, on to the Priory. There's also going to be quite a bit of exploration in this because there are so many different locations and even some unmarked side quests. So there will be a bit of exploration. And that's what I like about any mod that adds a new land, a new world space, is having that chance to explore, to see, to find these different secrets and these different areas. Then another troll. There's a lot of trolls here. Oh, is he gonna attack that horse? Don't you attack that horse. I keep missing. Oh my god. Don't attack- oh, it's not even a horse, it's a deer. Listen, from a distance, it looks like a horse. It's night. My eyes are terrible. What other excuses can I come up with? Oh, sorry, you've heard all of them before. Oh, Olvir! There's a nasty civil war going on in Skyrim right now. I just hope nobody tries to conquer us. The Unvaldurs already have that one covered. I was hoping he would talk to me. But no. Balin Priory. Discovered. We have... Debella. We have Talos. And we have Mara. Just three, huh? You know, you can't pick and choose which divines you like. You gotta worship them all. Hello? Anybody? Oh, here are the rest of the shrines. Oh, they just don't get statues, huh? Hello? I don't like how quiet it is. Oh, okay. I was scared. I was worried that they were going to be dead or something. Staying safe? Who built the portal in Mzubinthand? We aren't really sure. Its location would obviously suggest that the Dwemer people built it. 
but there is little evidence to prove it. We've seen no signs of this kind of technology in other Duama ruins, so we can't do much beyond speculate. The scholars in Weizemonstadt were potentially studying it, but none of the research made it out, so we'd have to start from scratch. Due to the continuous conflict in the land, research in the portal further simply hasn't been something we focused on yet. Perhaps someday, though. Do you know anything about the increased bandit activity? Not really. I know they're a growing problem, and are all over Falska, but uh, nothing else. They're Ingvar's men. He's paying them. Come to Amber Creek and help us. That couldn't be. Unless... Ingvar is trying to start another war. Regardless, we cannot help. 700 years ago, Shore saved our ancestors so that we could flourish in this land and absorb its knowledge, not tear it apart with war. We will not help instigate another one with the Unvaldas. Of course, we are so loyal to the Borvaldas. If it comes to it, we will fight by Kigagnar's side until victory or Sovngarde takes us. All right. Be safe. Was him calling Agnar King just a mistake, or is that indicative of something else? Oh. Something's Hi. wrong with the hot springs. They feel very bad. Oh? I wonder if it has to do with those necromancers. Will that give me a location? No! Tell me where the hot springs are! Point me there! I heard that a guard in Skyrim used to be an adventurer like you, until they took an arrow in the knee. Wipe that Trouble? smirk off your face. Don't even try that with me. I don't need more arrow in the knee jokes. I'm done. Have you spoken with Brother Thorlo yet? The monks know nothing and won't help unless Ingvar directly instigates war. Unless he instigates war. He sent men to kidnap and interrogate one of our people. And he blankets the land with his mercenaries. Is that not a declaration of war? Very well. We shall work without their help. For now. I need you to do something else for me. Bandits have overrun the docks, and have got off trade with Skyrim. Please, go to the docks and kill all the bandits. Then, talk to Hendrik. He runs the trade store there. Ask him if he learned anything helpful while the bandits were there. Alright, speak with Henrik. Do you need something? Oh, do you have any questions, or do I have anything I can ask you? What can I help you with? Ooh, here we go. May I have a copy of the bounty ledger? Sure thing. We make the bounty information public to everyone. Here's a copy of the ledger. I'm looking for work. Got any leads? The Spriggan are normally peaceful creatures. Unfortunately, lately one of them has been overprotective and attacking nearby adventurers. Agnar has put out a bounty to stop the attacks. See this decree for full details. Thank you. What do you do around here? I manage a lot of the land and policies under Agnar. I make sure the guards are paid, the taxes are collected and that the people are happy. Though recently I have also been helping many people through the hard economic times. If they can't pay taxes, or are at risk of going out of business, I work with them. I help keep Svea's shop, Helena's market stall, and even the Reynolders farm running. Though I haven't heard from the Reynolders in a long time, I hope they're alright. Would you like me to go... look into that? Annika and Lena Reynolder run a farm just northwest of Borvold. They do most of their trade there, but from time to time they stop by to say hello and trade with the townsfolk here in Amber Creek. Many people here are their friends. 
However, they haven't stopped by in a long time, and I'm starting to wonder if something has happened to them. I wouldn't be surprised with all this bandit activity lately. I don't mean to order you around, but could you please stop by their farm the next time you're in that area? I just want someone to check in on them and make sure they are right. I'd owe you if you did so. Alright. The roads are dangerous outside of town. Travel with care. See? Lots and lots of side quests. I told you there were. I told you there were going to be side quests, and now we're just getting them left and right. Which makes me happy. Good morning. Enjoying that bread, are you? Can I help you? I found your father's hammer. Oh, let me see it. Yes. Yes, this is it. Thank you so much. Please, have this. You have certainly earned it. You know what? He will want this hammer to see some action. You look capable of handling such a mighty weapon. I... I want you to have it. Use it on some bandits. Keep this land safe with it. That's what my father would have wanted. If you All right. need anything, just let me or Rengar know. So I'm guessing it removed the quest version and then gave me the normal version. Vanavir's Masterpiece. You know what? I'm not really a two-handed guy most of the time. But let's give it a shot. <coughs> let's do it for a little bit at least. So... Like I said, there's only nine main quests total. And for that reason, we're going to be doing some of these side quests. Let's get the Spriggan, and let's check in on the Reynalders. And I'm sure we'll find some other quests along the way as well. Ooh, and that takes me all the way out to the center of the land, or the, the middle of the land. So I'm sure we'll have a chance to explore and find some other places in the meantime. Alright, let's go. What do we have here? Is this guy going to be friendly, or...? No. Bandit. Well, he's not hostile, though. Oh, okay. Okay, but now they are. Well, now one of them is. And smashy smash! Oh, that didn't do jack shit! I mean, I know I didn't upgrade the hammer yet. But still, damn. Bashed him over the head, and it didn't matter for Diddly. I'll compare the damages in a second, because that probably has something to do with it. Dragonbone Sword, yeah, 154 versus 40 for the masterpiece. So that would do it. Well, when I set up this character, when I first made the weapons, I didn't do, you know, the ridiculously overpowered glitch. Like, I didn't go too, too crazy with improving the sword, but I did use, um... I used, like, one potion and then one enchanted item in order to improve it. Just because, you know, when I made this character, it was... To get a character ready for all quest mods. And every quest mod is different in how it balances enemies. Some mods make really, really, really powerful enemies. Others make ones that are maybe a little bit more in line with um, vanilla. But even vanilla Skyrim can feel a little inconsistent sometimes, so you never know. You prepare for the worst and you hope for the best. That's how I look at it. Reynalders, are you okay? Well, there are cows here, there are chickens here. I don't see any blood, so that's a good sign. Or 
Reynalders. Spiderwebs aren't a good sign. Hello? It's not stealing, so I'm gonna take that. Downstairs. Oh, there's blood. That's not good. More blood. Requires a key. Please help. Get the key from the journalist side. If you're reading this, and neither my wife nor I are at our home, then we are in trouble. Look behind the crate in the back right corner of the shed behind our house. You'll find all that you need there. Oh no, I... I vaguely remember this. Isn't this like something spooky or something or something scary? Oh, I already have a bad feeling about this. Everything I need. What does that mean? Entry 1. We were expecting an excellent yield once again this year from the crops. This is wonderful. The gods have looked favorably upon us yet again. Looks like I shall finally expand the cellar to meet our growing productivity. On the morrow, I shall run to town for supplies. Annika and I are very lucky. I should also send word to Jalma of Amber Creek. She always enjoys good news from this area. Entry 2. Today I was digging in the cellar to expand it outward and, while digging, broke into some kind of chamber. It was pitch black and I couldn't see inside. Annika and I have sealed it off for now. Who knows what could be down there? Entry 3. We've had to rework our cellar expansion to accommodate for the recent findings. I threw a torch in and saw what looked like Nordic ruins. I wonder if we could get one of the scholars down here. They may pay us to explore it. I wouldn't say no to some extra coin. Nonetheless, we have kept it sealed. It could be full of Draugr or spiders, or worse. Entry 4. We did not get a restful night's sleep. We heard all sorts of god-awful noises coming from the hole in the cellar. At one point, we thought we heard scratching, like something was trying to escape. Poor Annika was horrified. Honestly, I was a little scared too. I'm a farmer, not a fighter, damn it. I can't go to Yemen, I'm a farmer. I fear for our lives. If something comes out of there, I may not be able to protect Annika. Entry 5. More noises last night. They were far more intense and loud than the night before. Annika is scared half to death. She spends all day outside and has a very hard time falling asleep. I think I'll hire some mercenaries later today to take a look. That way we can put all this behind us and finally figure out what's down there. Entry 6. They must- they have to be dead. They must be. I paid two large Nords, a Red Guard, and an Orc to take a look today. It was silent for several hours and then we heard the most dreadful screaming. It stopped after a few minutes. They must have been attacked. It's the only explanation. I have more permanently sealed the hole with planks and bolts. We won't have any more of this. We could pack them and leave, but we can't lose the farm. Not this close to harvest. Anik has calmed since I sealed it off. Hopefully we can forget all about this. I just hope the guards don't come by asking about those men. Entry 7. I must go in. I heard screams while I was outside working the field. They... They took Annika. I don't know who or what they are, but they have her now. They broke through the planking. There was a fair amount of blood, and I fear for her life. I will write an extra note and leave it before the cellar door. I must then seal it off so that nothing can escape. I've never fought anything in my life, and I fear I will do no good. Hopefully it's just rabid wolves. That's still bad, but it's far less severe than the other possibilities. If you find my other note, and I am not present, then I have failed. Please, get help. Or if you yourself are of able body, try to help us. Even if we are captured or injured, we might still be saved. Plus, whatever is down there must be dealt with. If it escapes to the surface, it could be bad news for others, especially Borvald. May the Nine watch over me. I would have told the guards. I would send word to the guards and say, hey, I was digging, and now we hear strange noises. It's very possible the guards wouldn't have cared, but at least reach out to them first. Tell the Jarl or something. Oh. Uh, Falmer. Falmer would do it.
Also, I don't think this is a scary one. I think there is a scary quest, but I think it's somewhere else. I think it's maybe further in or something. We're not further in, but uh, elsewhere in the mod. See, I told you some of it would come back to me. It is funny, though, because I remember the very first time I fought against Falmer, it scared me. Not that it, you know, had me screaming or actually scared, but, you know, the first time, you're like, oh, what are these? Oh, what are these blind, pale creatures lurking around and skulking in caves? Same with the first time I ever fought Chorus. Because the first time I ever fought them was in the lighthouse. And I can't remember the name of it. It's a uh, Hobbs lighthouse, the one near um, Dawnstar. And that was an interesting first experience, but I remember just going, what are these giant black bugs, and why do I hate them so much? Ooh! Oh, where did you come from? Oh, it's too powerful. That makes sense, but... I was hoping. I didn't see you back there. Oop. Oh, and speak of the devil. Speaking of Chorus. Oh, God, the squishing sounds. The crunching sounds from the Chorus. I hate it. Ugh. It's one of my least favorite sounds in the game. Yeah, I had a feeling. Wanted to give it a shot anyway. Yeah, I had the feeling they were going to be dead. Well, they died together. I don't know if that's good or more depressing. I'm going to go with more depressing. It's not really good. Well, we can tell Yalma what happened. Given that it was a Nordic crypt, I was expecting Draugr. Oh, this is blocked. Oh. This door is blocked. Hmm. Is there a way past it, or is it just a dead end? Let me see if there's a... pull switch or something, but I don't think so, no. Oh, there was. My bad. I just didn't see it at first. Okay, and this is doing the thing of, hey, go back through the cave to get through to the other exit, but no. And what do we have? Eh, not really worth it, but I'll take it. Oh, wow, yeah, the Spriggan's right here. Yeah, let's do that. We'll head back to Amberhold, or Amber Creek, and see if anyone has anything else for me to do. At least checking the actual map shows where I have to go for the Spriggan, rather than it just saying, oh, go back inside and come back out the other exit, and yada, yada, yada. See, I can be a voice actor for the mud. Hey, it's -a me, the nerd. <laughs>